Hey guys, the Dick King Arts here bringing you a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to do a metal bar or a metal pipe effect in Adobe Photoshop. This is used a lot on YouTube backgrounds nowadays and can be adjusted to a bunch of different things. Um, go ahead and open up Photoshop. Go to File New. You can put this on an existing document or a new document. For this tutorial, I'll be using 1280 by 800 on a new document. Um, the first thing you want to do is unlock your background layer and keep it white by double and to unlock it just double click on the layer create a new layer above that and make sure it's transparent we don't need to fill it in and grab your rectangular marquee it's a uh, second um, tool down and right click and make sure it's selected now make a selection by dragging from the right to the left or the left to the right and make it about yay big it's uh, not too big about a fourth the size of the canvas and it can be adjusted later after we add the pipe effect and stuff to it. So next thing you want to do is grab your paint bucket tool, go to your foreground color, and pick something that's kind of in the middle, not too dark, not too light. That's perfect, and fill in the selection. Next thing you want to do is grab your color dodge tool, which looks like a black pin, and it's two underneath the paint bucket tool. It could be on the other tool, just are the other two tools. Just right click and click that. Now for this um, for this tutorial, I suggest using um, a brush that's about a third the size of the shape, and mine's about already set to that. And mine's 95 pixels, which uh, varies on the size of your pipe. So go ahead and hold Shift and drag once across, and you have yourself the pipe effect. Um, if you want to, you can drag across again. And, you, and it's lighter, but I don't prefer that. Just click undo. Next thing I'm going to do is go to select, deselect, and, there, and there's your pipe. Now, I suggest adding a, strike, a stroke to this by double-clicking on the pipe layer to open up the blending options and clicking on stroke. After that, you know, just set it to about one or, or two or three, depending on, what you are, on your, depending on your preference, and make sure it's um, on black. After you get that, it'll look pretty good. Now, a lot of times on YouTube, you'll see two, a big pipe and a small pipe underneath it. So just duplicate the pipe that you just made by right-clicking, clicking Duplicate Layer. After you do that, just go to Edit, Transform, Scale, and scale it down to about a fourth the size. After you do that, click your drag tool or your normal pointer tool and hold Shift and pull it down and line it up with the bottom and it'll look like that or you can click down a couple of pixels just so it has a little gap thank you guys for watching this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it helped you if it did help you please comment and let me know and show me some of the work that you did and if it helped please like the video if you haven't already please subscribe thanks addicting arts out